Hey guys, it's Bryony. So today I'm going to be reviewing the products by Femina. I have a small selection of their products here that I've been trying out over the last few months. So Femina is a German-based company actually, and they make herbal products and oils for women, functional herbal products and oils for women to help with a whole range of issues. So they have a selection for like general well-being, PMS, menstruation, fertility, pregnancy and even menopause. So there's loads of different products that they have on their website. The lady who uh, set up and I think still runs Femna is Maxi and Maxi co-founded or certainly was very much involved with Ruby Cup. Um, when I first started working with them. And the reason she set up Femna was because she noticed that when she was working at Ruby Cup, they would get a lot of requests from women asking about ways that they could deal with menstrual cramps, PMS, um, bloating, just general, you know, the other things that come with having a period without wanting to use the pill. You know, women who wanted more natural remedies, which, hi, I'm one of them. And yeah, so she decided that she needed to find another way to do it, and that's when Femna was born. So I've been trying out some of their menstrual range because that's what I specialize in with this YouTube channel, obviously. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. So I'm gonna start off with the tea first of all. This is the Femna Zero Toller Cramps. I think that's quite funny. Uh, herbal tea and it specifically says for menstruation on it. And this is designed to, reading the instructions on the back, herbs in this tea have traditionally been recommended when experiencing cramps during menstruation, developed by leading herbal experts. And the way that you take it is, it's loose tea, by the way. Um, it's two teaspoons per 200 ml of boiling water. You leave them covered to keep the essential oils from evaporating. And they're especially designed essential oils because obviously if you read like essential oil bottles, they'll say don't ingest, but these have been um, formulated to be ingested, so that's fine and then you brew it for eight to 12 minutes and then you strain. One week before your period, drink one to three cups daily and then when needed for the first two to three days of your period, drink one to three cups daily. Avoid during pregnancy and lactation. And all that is in this particular um, tea is tansy, yarrow, ladies mantle, ginger, raspberry leaf, lemon verbena, verbena I think, and peppermint. Um, the tea itself looks like this, it's very tough, this um, opening, but you can see it's it's just loose tea, and it has a very strong peppermint smell, I have to say, you can't really see it, but yeah, it's strongly, very pepperminty, and so I've tried taking this the last few months, and I'm going to be honest with you, I, I kind of failed. I do not really like herbal tea, the only tea I really drink, can drink is like English breakfast tea, um, even Earl Grey I find a bit too fruity for me. I am just, I'm really bad with herbs. Herbs in general, whether it's like, the only two herbs I really even kind of like is oregano and basil, and even then not a lot, like chives, rosemary, thyme, I don't know, but there's a lot like parsley, all that. I, I really don't like them. I don't even like it when people put like mint in water. I'm just so, one of the things I think that happened when I got my Lyme disease is I became hypersensitive to stuff and taste is one of them. And herbs just generally tend to have quite a strong taste. And I'm really not that good with them. So I've tried, I've made many, many cups of this. And it might not look it because it's quite full, but the package was like more open than this before. Um, I've made several attempts at taking this and I just really couldn't stomach the taste because I'm not a herbal tea person. Um, it, it's not like a bad, it's not like a bad taste, it's just very pepperminty. So for me, I don't really like that particular taste in a tea. I would brew them and then I'd try and drink them and I'd literally only manage about this much. So I was thinking, well that's not really going to be doing anything, is it? And by that point it would be cold. But if you are somebody who likes herbal tea, then I do think you should definitely consider this because one of the things that I've noticed just with tea in general is if I drink quite a lot of it the week before my period, because it's very warm, um, it's that warming sensation that's really good for your body as well, kind of helps keep your core temperature up, which is good with, you know, warmth helps relax your muscles. So obviously with menstrual cramps, that's gonna help. Um, so I think if you combine that with this, like if normal tea can make a difference, I think this is gonna be really, really beneficial. I just, I wish I could, could just stomach the taste of anything herbally. I'm just, I really am so bad. Um, I tried like several months, I have tried to take this 
like the week before and just drinking it and trying to build it up I just couldn't couldn't do it because for me herbal herbal teas and herbal food in general is just not to my taste but if you are somebody that likes herbal tea I know there are a lot of people who like herbal tea then this is definitely something that you should consider um, it's as I said they use organic materials they're not certified organic yet but they do use all organic materials and they are specially formulated and I know from my general knowledge actually a lot of the uh, ingredients in this are very good for periods rather leaf, peppermint and tansy. Tansy is also like the ingredient for menstrual cramps so that's really good to know. So yeah I definitely think you should, would recommend trying this. The other thing I should mention if you're not familiar with my channel is that I have a condition called adenomyosis which is similar to endometriosis so I actually have like a physical medical reason as to why my periods are very painful. Um, so yeah it, for me um, natural remedies are probably less likely to have an effect because of that reason but I do think if you are suffering from menstrual cramps, you should definitely try this. Just, if you're like me and you really can't stomach herbal stuff, probably not the product for you. However, as well as teas, they do also make some other products. So they make these sort of roll-on um, essential oils, and this is called Loosen Up. I'm pretty sure they also sent me the Easy Flow one of these as well, but do you think I can find it? No, like it's quite petite, you know, it's kind of, it's a little bit bigger than a, um, a lip salve but I'm sure I had two of these. The thing is, uh, this company kind of released their stuff with different packaging a while ago and they sent me those first versions, so I can't remember whether that one was sent in the first version or this second one with the new packaging. But I certainly had this one which is the Loosen Up. And this one especially says it's for, it's a spice blend traditionally used to ease menstrual discomfort and cramping, apply around lower stomach and back external use only. So basically it's like a little roller. I don't know if you could see that there's a little hair on there. Ugh. Um, it's this little rolly thing and I can't put it on my stomach on camera but I can roll it on my wrist and you see it's just like you can see the oil slick probably on there and then if I was I actually think putting it on your wrist is quite good because as you can see your veins are quite there so it can soak into your bloodstream quite easily so I would always recommend doing that as well even though that's not on the instructions um, and then I would rub this on my stomach and my lower back and it was really really nice it's a very it's very rich in ginger and there's a picture of ginger on there actually but the ingredients in this one is coconut oil uh, ginger root oil that's the, I can definitely smell the ginger uh, orange peel oil frankincense oil vitamin E and then some other um, essential oils um, actually interestingly enough the orange peel I'm um, allergic to oranges but only with ingesting them um, so I haven't had any reaction to this so I'm guessing there's not that much in it but just to be aware if you're someone like me who has a sensitivity to citrus that you might react to that um, but yeah it's really nice soothing oil definitely has a sort of warming effect feels really nice I wouldn't say it really helps with my menstrual cramps as such but it certainly is a very pampering um, product and I think if you are suffering from sort of more minor cramps you might even see this have an effect on them. It doesn't say on the bottle how often to apply it but I'm assuming because it's a natural remedy that there's no like unsafe limit or that would be specified so a lot of people that have tried you know with the tea and with these products have left reviews saying that they've been able to forego ibuprofen entirely which I think is amazing um, and this particular roll-on was one of my favorite products of the three that I try of the four that I tried um, and yeah it's just so easy to use and as you can see I've only had this on for like a few like maybe 30 seconds and the oil is already kind of absorbed into my skin so it does go in very quickly I would recommend however when you put it on that you do also massage in as well and it does make a really good massage oil so this little bottle is very handy and also very compact so the final product and actually my favorite of all of the feminine products that I personally tried is this soothing equilibrium harmonizing bath oil so this says it is clary sage has traditionally been used for easing menstrual cramps due to its estrogen like properties whilst chamomile works for calming and balancing. You fill a bath with warm water first, then pour a small amount of the oil in. Mix the oil into the water with your hands, the oil will rise to the top of the hot water, and you keep mixing from time to time. Soak and relax can also be used as a massage oil, external use only. So as I said, what I would do is I'd fill my bath with it, and then I'd put a few pumps of this into the bath, swirl it around, actually not with my hands, I do it with my legs, um, and then I would soak in the bath with this oil. It has a really really nice scent it's not really overpowering like some oils can be it's just really gentle um, there's a lot of ingredients in here so I'm not going to go through them all because I've been here for quite a while um, but they all are made of, of like natural 
things. So you can go on the website and see, um, which I'll put a link to down below. You can go on the website and see exactly what's in this if you want. But yeah, so I would just use it uh, kind of coming up to my period and when I was on my period with just the oil in the bath and then I'd soak for as long as I can. The other thing I used to like to add into the bath when I was using this is just some Epsom salt, which you can do as well. There's nothing on here that says you can't. Um, and the th reason I really, really like this oil though was because when you get out of the bath, your body is just like glowing. It's like this golden -y, well I've got quite a lot of skin so I don't know if it was that, but I, like you can see it that you've, it looks like someone has literally taken oil and rubbed it all over your body. Um, but it's not like sticky or tacky or anything, it's like a nice, um, you don't feel like you're, you've got, you're really sticky or like there's oil all over you, but you are, you look like somebody's rubbed it in really, really well. And it feels so nice and relaxing. So that's why I really, really like this particular oil and I use it pretty much every period. So this is a really, really great pamper item. Um, this one is, this one doesn't say it's specifically for uh, menstrual cramps, so I, it would be unfair of me to like really judge it on that because that's not what it's for It just says it's a harmonizing bath oil, but I really do love this bath oil So if you're looking to treat yourself when you're on your period um, As I think it's the best time to treat yourself, especially when you've got a lot of cramps and PMS and all that kind of stuff Then this oil is well worth getting um, and as I said it's all natural and stuff as well Which is always a bonus. So overall I would definitely recommend the Femme products As I said my favorite was the harmonizing bath oil, but I did also like the loosen up um, oil too. I felt like it definitely had the warming effect that it talked about and for somebody who maybe didn't have an underlying condition causing them severe menstrual cramps it might really help take the edge off as well. Um, the tea, I really, as I said, but I really wish that my body would just like accept herbs more and the taste of them, it just can't. But um, as I said earlier on in the review, if you are someone who's into herbal teas then definitely give these a try um, because I think you'll find that they'll make a real difference. I've seen so many people say good things about them. I've tried so many times to take it and I just can't, it's just my body, you know. Um, but yeah, the the tea itself, uh, it steeped very nicely, um, it was pretty easy to make as well and obviously loose tea is better because it doesn't have like the plastic in the tea bags and normal tea bags have too, so better for the environment. But thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget you can get cough pads and menstrual cups from my website Precious Stars down below uh, and I'll also put the link to Fenda down below as well. Hopefully I'll see you next week guys, bye bye.